Hi everybody, how's it going? Okay, it has been months since I've sat here and spoken to a camera. Now I'm basically making this video to let you guys know where I've been, what I've been doing, what's going on in my life and just to give you guys a bit of an update on me. <laughs> Alright, so to begin with I apologise that I have not done any videos in what three months now probably since I think the last one was Valentine's makeup or something and as much as I love YouTube I had decided to take a little bit of a break it's been a bit of a mad few months um yeah I don't even know where the time's gone it's like nearly halfway through April already it's madness anyway so I decided to take a couple of months off of YouTube to grow my Instagram because Honestly, Instagram was really, really hard to get growing and I was struggling and I was struggling to juggle both YouTube and Instagram and everything. So I was just like, no, I'm just going to focus solely on the Instagram. Now, because I did that and chose to do that, it has actually worked. And I've been posting daily. I've totally changed up how I've set out my Instagram. I personally think it looks amazing. So happy with it. A lot of people are also happy with my layout and what I'm doing. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go check it out. You'll see exactly what I'm on about. But yeah, so that's going really, really well. I'm like halfway, uh, well, nearly halfway, at four and a half thousand, not too far off. So that's just mental in itself. I only hit 4,000 like two weeks ago. So I'm really, really grateful. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And that's kind of why I haven't been concentrating on the whole YouTube just to simply grow my Instagram. All right, so the other thing as well is uh, we've been planning on building our house. Now, if any of you have watched any of my vlog videos on my vlog channel, which again, I haven't actually uploaded on in months, uh, just because there's not actually been much happening and in my day-to-day -day life, it's not very interesting. So I didn't want to bore you guys with not much fun things. Um, but yeah, so in, February, January, February, we decided that we were going to build on our little bungalow. Um, so at the moment it's, I always think of it as like a little holiday home. It's really gorgeous. It's like kitchen, living room, dining room, bedroom, bathroom. That's all there is. It's perfect for what we need at the moment. But what I actually need is a workroom and I need space because I've taken over the entire house. It's not fair on Chris. He's got nowhere. I've literally like moved him out of the bedroom nearly. So yes, so we came up with plans, we worked with um, like a house designer who's actually a friend of the family's and then when we were happy with everything we sent it for um, the plans through to the permission, the council permission and we waited then about what six to eight weeks I think it was, nine weeks, something like that to get the go-ahead and we got the go-ahead so it's like oh my gosh we're actually going to build our house then it was, you know, waiting on people who were available and everything. Um, and with it being sort of March, February, uh, March, April, the weather's been horrendous. So there's no way we're going to start building straight away. But we are actually going to build sort of June, July. I'm hoping it's sooner rather than later. Because I just want to get this house done. And I'm really excited. Um... So yeah, that's also what's been going on. So we've been planning that out, like kitchen, flooring, everything. I, I will be vlogging a lot of that when it happens. Um, I may add the vlogs to this channel. I may add them to my vlog channel. We will see, I have no idea. But, oh, I am so excited. I am gonna have a workroom, which I've always dreamed of and it's finally happening. Um, I, I know how the house is gonna look in my head from every single room apart from my own studio because until it's built I don't know what to do with it I don't know how I'm going to set things up but it's not a huge space but it's an entire room just for me to work from to do my makeup looks to do my YouTube videos so eventually when I when it's all built and done and set up I won't be using a backdrop that's my plan I don't want to be using a wide backdrop I want you to visually see me in my studio a little bit like Tarte because um she is one of my favourite YouTubers and I just love the fact that it's 
it's professional but it's still um, a bit more personal because she does film out into her studio which is amazing so that's another major thing that's been going on the last few oh throwing everything around uh major thing that's been going on the last few months and then finally one thing that i am um super excited about which i is kind of another reason why i wanted to make this video to tell you guys what to expect in the next upcoming videos but um i for the last sort of year or so have been dying to do a wig making course now for those of you who know me a bit more personally you know that i went to university i did hair makeup special effects all things like that and as much as i love makeup i really really wanted to try my hand at the wigs now this is another thing as well that's happened but i haven't actually done any freelance makeup since christmas another decision i made i wanted to concentrate on myself i wanted to concentrate on um other specific things and i haven't actually missed freelance makeup um just because it has been nice to not advertise and honestly it's just too hard of a competition now everybody's a makeup artist they're all doing it for like six pounds an eye makeup or i've seen that at least um just super cheap they're not insured oh it drives me mad anyway i don't want to try and compete in that anymore so by doing the wigs i'm hoping that i have my own niche to get out into the industry and do something with my life and everything that i've learned over the last um you know like six to ten years being in education so i'm extremely happy i am doing this course down in london um at the wham studio which is the wigs and makeup studio and i have been taught by who i am going to call my master or my sensei of wig making um philip who uh, i'll link all his details down below all his youtube and everything and i'm just so excited and the time's finally here i'm going on sunday the 15th the course runs from monday the 16th to the 22nd um it's a full like intense week of wig making which is insane but the reason i am also making this video is because i will be documenting not everything but most of my week showing you what it's like what exactly wig making is a little bit about the step by steps and stuff and just my little trip down to london as well because i've never ever spent a week down in london so i'm really really excited for that um but yeah so thank you so much to philip and the warm studio for taking me on i think the other cool thing about me training and studying with um at this course and with these particular people is that they actually do pretty much all the wigs and makeup for the national it, the english national opera which is amazing and i follow him every single day on his instagram philip i mean and just to see the creations he comes up with with just the costumes and the hair designs and building like new structures with little flowers oh my god you'll have to go see it's amazing anyway so that's kind of what's going on with me i'm hoping uh i'm not rambling on too much but i just wanted to give you this update and give you a bit of a reason why i haven't been on youtube no i haven't quit youtube i am planning on coming back and uh, mainly when everything is built in the house uh so it's gonna be a mad few months i might try and do a couple of videos in between but as of right now i am loving doing instagram i am loving just working part-time at my job and concentrating on me a little bit and not having to worry about advertising and just being freelance and all that so i'm much happier now than what i was also a bit of a side note um obviously my last video was the nyx face awards entry for those of you who don't follow me on social media i didn't get through that's fine i have been after doing that makeup look which by the way thank you i had so many wonderful responses but i just well i did get through obviously it wasn't what they wanted by the looks of it they wanted a lot more body painting stuff and i just want to thank you guys for really supporting me on that for that entire week that was like the closing date to the decision i had heart palpitations i wasn't sleeping i was so so nervous and then obviously i didn't get through but actually what i found was i always believe that everything happens for a reason and even though i didn't get through i'm kind of glad in a way because with everything else that's going on and with the wig making course and me wanting to practice that and do my instagram stuff and then working alongside that there just would not have been time to come up with 
an incredible idea. I didn't want to half ass anything. I'm not that type of person. So in a way, there's, you know, the silver lining in that dark cloud or whatever that saying is. But I'm happy with where I am now. On that note, um, to do with the wigs, I have actually created a brand new Instagram, um, which I'm really excited about and would love it if you guys could join me on there. I think one of the most exciting things about this new Instagram is actually my new brand name which I have to give full credit to my own mum for because I am pretty terrible with coming up with names and ideas and stuff. Um, like I'm creative in terms of doing but actually coming up and being um, inventive like that I'm not so good at if I'm going to be honest. So I went over to my mum and I was like I need your help to come up with this name for my new wig brand and after a few options she just said one which just blew me out of the water and I was like that is the one that is what I'm going to be called. So my new wig um, brand is going to be lock. Oh no, it's going to be lace to locks, um, which I think is so relevant to what I'm going to be doing, um, and I'm extremely excited. I've mentioned it all on Instagram if you do follow me on there, but I'm now mentioning it to you guys who are just following me on YouTube and not my other social medias. So um, on there, I am hoping to be posting. Um, photos, step by step, not really step by steps, but like little time lapses. I'll be documenting my entire week down in London, so be aware that there will be videos coming out of those kind of vlogs. There might be one, two, three, four. I'm not too sure how I'm going to break it down or how much I'm going to film, but I'm really, really excited anyway. So, yes. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Lace to Locks, then I will leave that leave that link down below. But you can expect the time lapses. Um, in between photos of me doing the wigs oh my god it's gonna be mad i don't even know what i'm gonna do yet but there's gonna be hairstyles and stuff so i'm just gonna go along with it and i'm really excited wow that was a lot of talking oh my gosh also i tried to do this kind of cool hair thing today where i braided down both the sides and then wanted to do a little bit of a mohawk down here but my hair keeps separating which kind of sucks so anyway that is the end of what I think what I wanted to tell you, I don't think there's anything else, but I just wanted to give you guys an update, what's been going on with me. I do really, really miss YouTube, and it's kind of weird to be back on here. Um, but anyway, if you've made it this far, I thank you so much, so much, so much for watching, and I am happy, I'm excited that I've got so much to look forward to. And if you want to follow me on that journey, then everything will be down below for you to follow. All right, guys. Um, I hope I don't leave it too long before I make my next video, but thanks so much for watching. If you like this and you like my other videos, then subscribe and I will not disappoint you hopefully in the future. Alright guys, thanks so much and see you later. Bye!